As you're probably well aware, Henry Ford is known not just the father of modern assembly line, but he is also coined an amazingly accurate wisdom widely used to help people challenge their thinking and improve themselves. Whether you believe you can or believe you can't, you are right. Same is true for you trying to solve this interesting and tricky question. You are presented with three cool looking triangles. Each triangle has four numbers inside and one number on the top in the circle. For the first triangle, the numbers inside are 1, 3 and 4, 2 on the top and 6 in the middle inside the other shaded triangle. The second triangle has numbers 3, 2 and 4, number 3 on the top and number 7 in the middle. And then the last, third triangle has numbers 5, 4 and 6, number 2 on the top and the missing number in the middle. You need to calculate the missing number and select out of four possible choices. Choice A, 13, choice B, 14, choice C, 15, and last but not least, choice D, 16. Are you feeling challenged by this question? That's completely normal. Remember though, sometimes the simplest solutions are the most effective. Let's approach this with fresh eyes and innovative thinking. Are you ready to showcase your solution? Let's get into it to see how our answers match up. And even if you don't have the answer, don't get discouraged. Keep your spirits up, even if you're unsure. Every question, whether answered correctly or not, is a chance to gain valuable insights and refine your skills for future success. To solve these types of challenges, you need to detect the pattern. Typically, the missing number is the result of the calculations. And in this case, the pattern is that the bottom left number added to the upper triangle number in the power of the number in the circle minus the bottom right number calculates the number in the shaded triangle. Let's look at the example. 1 plus 3 in the power of 2 minus 4 equals 6. This is how a number inside the shaded triangle was calculated. Let's verify this logic with the second triangle. 3 plus 2 in the power of 3 minus 4 equals 7. Now we can easily calculate the missing number. 5 plus 4 in the power of 2 minus 6 equals 15. So the correct answer here is choice C, 15. It's uh, hard to deny that with this magical question, you are not just solving this particular challenge, but you're composing a masterpiece of intellect. Each correct solution is a brush stroke in the portrait of your success. You're presented with the sequence, and you need to determine the missing number in the sequence. The sequence is 35, 16, 14, and then comes the missing number, which you need to select out of four possible choices. Choice A, 10, choice B, 11, choice C, 12, and last but not least, choice D, 13. Well, I think we can agree on one thing with you. It's a tricky question. But remember though, you are not navigating this path alone. I am here to help as well as other subscribers on this channel. Whether you're a problem-solving expert or a newcomer, I have full faith in your capabilities. Take a moment to gather your thoughts, tap into your imaginative side, and let's triumph over this challenge together. Your solution is almost ready and is definitely within the reach. Are you ready with your answer? I am eager to see it, so let's proceed and compare our solutions. Together, we will unravel the complexities of this assessment test question. I'll ask you for a favor and specifically to share your thought process in comments. Your insight might hold the key for all of us to learn and improve. What's interesting about this question that it seems unsolvable until you start thinking out of the box. The pattern here is next number is calculated as sum of digits of the previous number multiplied by 2. Let's look at the first number. First number is 35. Two digits are 3 and 5. 3 plus 5 equals 8, multiplied by 2 equals 16. Let's go to the next number so we can continue the sequence. 1 plus 6 multiplied by 2 equals 7 multiplied by 2 and equals 14. So to calculate the missing number, we need to add 1 and 4 and multiply it by 2. 5 multiplied by 2 equals 10, so the correct answer here is choice A, 10. I hope you would agree to try to imagine this question as a stepping stone across the river of challenges. 
With all of your efforts toward the correct answer, you're building a bridge to the island of your triumph. You need to determine the smallest answer among four possible choices. Choice A, 2 fifth plus 3 fourth. Choice B, square root of 4 minus 0 0.75. Choice C, 1.2 plus 1 eighth. And last but not least, choice D, 2 third multiplied by 2. Well, guess what? I'm on the same page with you, and I also think it's a tricky question. But remember though, you are not navigating this path alone, and I'm here to help, as well as other subscribers on this channel. Whether you're a problem-solving expert or a newcomer, I have full faith in your capabilities. Take a moment to gather your thoughts, tap into your imaginative side, and let's triumph over this challenge together. Your solution almost ready and definitely within reach. Are you ready with your solution? I am eager to see it, so let's proceed and compare the answers. The best way to solve this challenge is to solve it for each expression and convert the end result to decimals. Let's start with the first expression. 2 fifth plus 3 fourths. 2 fifth equals 0 0.4. 3 fourths equals 0 0.75. 0 0.4 plus 0 0.75 equals 1.15. Now let's look at expression B. Square root of 4 minus 0 0.75. Square root of 4 is 2. 2 minus 0 0.75 equals 1.25. Let's go to the choice C. 1.2 plus 1 eighth. 1 eighth equals 0 0.125. 1.2 plus 0 0.125 equals 1.325. And in choice D, we have 2 third multiplied by 2. 2 third multiplied by 2 equals 4 thirds, and 4 thirds equals 1.33, since number of digits after decimal point goes into infinity. So let's summarize what we've got. For choice A, we got 1.15. For choice B, the result is 1.25. For choice C, 1.325. And last but not least, choice D is 1.33. So the smallest result is 1.15, and the correct answer is choice A, 2 fifth plus 3 fourth. With this question, it's pretty clear that explaining data analytics to your grandma is like decoding a complex algorithm with a punchline. The interpretation might be fuzzy, but the laughter is always in the regression. You're presented with four words, and you need to determine the one that is misspelled. The words are choice A, concatenation, choice B, normalization, choice C, aggregation, and last but not least, choice D, duplication. Feel that you stumbled upon a tough task? Well, it's not one of those your grandma questions. I can tell you this. It's a serious data analytics business, but you are not alone in this journey. Whether you're a problem-solving veteran or newcomer, I believe in your capabilities. Take a moment to reflect, tap into your creativity, and let's tackle this challenge together. Your answer is just waiting to be discovered. Are you ready with your answer? Let's move forward so we can sync up the solutions. To be able to best answer this question, let's understand the meaning of each word. Concatenation stands for merging or combining two or more things, such as datasets or strings, into a single entity. Normalization is adjusting and scaling data to a standard format or range for consistent analysis. Aggregation is summarizing or combining data to obtain overall insights or totals. And last but not least, duplication is creating identical copies of data or records within a data set. I'm pretty sure you figured it by now. The misspelled word is choice C, aggregation. The correct spelling is A-G-G, -G, two G's here in this word, R-E-G-A-T-I-O-N. <sighs> Let's face it, navigating this question is like convincing a cat to take a bath. A tricky endeavor, but once you soak in the solution, it's a clean success. This assessment might be measuring our ability to handle slippery math expressions. In fact, you are presented with three of those expressions. The first one is 23 multiplied by 23 equals 25. The second one is 25 multiplied by 25 equals 49. And the third one is where you need to find the missing number. The expression is 27 by 27 and the result of it you need to select out of four possible choices. Choice A, 64. 
choice B, 72, choice C, 76, and last but not least, choice D, 81. Feeling a bit stuck? Well, guess what? You're not alone. I feel exactly the same way. But I'm the firm believer that you've got this. Whether you're a seasoned problem solver or just starting out, I know you can do it. Take a deep breath, approach it with creativity, and let's navigate through this challenge together. Your breakthrough is just around the corner. Are you ready with your solution? Well, or at least excited about this mental workout. Let's tackle this puzzle and explore the complexities together. And don't forget to share your brilliance, insight, in comments. Your solution might be just the breakthrough we need. Did I warn you that this expression is slippery? In the typical world, 23 multiplied by 23 equals 529. But to solve this problem, we need to think out of the box. And instead of using traditional math, you need to sum up the digits and multiply the result of the sum operation. Let's look at the example. For example, 23 by 23 would be 2 plus 3 in parentheses multiplied by 2 plus 3 would be 5 multiplied by 5 and the result of this would be 25. The second expression would be 2 plus 5 in parentheses multiplied by 2 plus 5 in parentheses would be equal 7 by 7 would be equal 49. So the missing number could be calculated as 2 plus 7 multiplied by 2 plus 7 which would be equal 9 multiplied by 9 or 9 squared and would be equal to 81. So the correct answer here is choice D, 81. I gotta admit, if I would ever have to face these types of problems on the assessment test, I would need to bring the compass with me. And you know why? Because navigating through this price calculations felt like exploring a maze. Don't believe me? See for yourself. As a pricing manager for Echo Essence AgriCare Inc., Michaela purchased 160 kilograms of fertilizer at 200 US dollars per metric ton, and she is planning to mix it with 200 kilograms of fertilizer she already had purchased at 400 US dollars per metric ton. What should be the target price for the mixture if she is targeting 20% profit? You need to calculate and select the final price out of four possible choices. Choice A, $153.60. Choice B, $156.20, choice C, $164.80, and last but not least, choice D, $172.40. Feeling stuck? No worries, it's easy to understand why you would be stuck with these types of problems. But whether you're a pro or newcomer, I trust that you can conquer this challenge. Remember, time is your friend, and a little outside of the box thinking goes a long way. You've got this. Take your time, get creative, and let's crack this problem together. Are you ready? Let's navigate the complexity of this question together and exchange solutions in the end. These types of problems can definitely be solved in multiple different ways. Make sure to post your unique way in comments so we can all learn. Let's start by looking at the term US dollar per MT which refers to United States dollar per metric ton. This is the pricing convention, which is widely used in international trade, since it provides a standardized and easily comparable measure for the cost of fertilizer on a weighted basis. Once we understand what we're dealing with here, our first step would be to determine the cost. For the first fertilizer, the cost would be 160 kilograms multiplied by 200 divided by metric ton, which is 1,000 kilograms which would be equal to $32. For the second fertilizer, Michaela spent $96, which is calculated as 240 kilograms multiplied by 400 and divided by metric ton, which is the 1,000 kilograms, which equals to 96. So the total spent for both fertilizer would be $32 plus $96, which is equal $128. The best way to add 20% profit is to understand that 20% profit is equals 120% of the original cost, which means that the target price can be calculated as 128 multiplied by 1.2, and the end result of this would be 153. So Michaela should aim to sell the mixture for $153.60 per metric ton to make a 20% profit. And the correct answer here is choice A, $153.60. I love this thought-provoking assessment test question. In addition to boosting your reasoning skills, solving it improves your analytical skills 
as well as attention to details. You're presented with 3x3 three three matrix. The matrix has numbers 5, 2, 14, 3, 3, and 15, 2, 4, and then comes the missing number, which you need to calculate and select out of four possible choices. Choice A, 17. Choice B, 18. Choice C, 19. And last but not least, choice D, 20. Take a close look and rationalize to see if you can come up with the answer. I think I am getting closer to the solution. The key, I believe, is to look at the colors flow. Don't you think so? With this hint, give yourself a little bit more time to see if you can figure it out. But now that I found my solution, let's explore the problem-solving approach together. I am eager to break it down step by step for you. And as usual, if you have any unique insights, feel free to contribute in comments. I think the pattern here is that the rightmost value in each row is calculated as double of the first column's value and square of the second column numbers. Let's look at the example. For example, for the first row, the calculations might be 5 multiplied by 2 plus 2 squared, which would be equal 10 plus 4, and end result of this would be 14. For the second row, the calculations will be 3 multiplied by 2 plus 3 squared, which would be equal 6 plus 9, and end result of this would be 15. So for the missing value, the calculations will be 2 multiplied by 2 plus 4 squared, which would be equal 4 plus 16, and the end result of this would be 20. Remember the hint I gave you? The flow of colors here shows the flow of the calculations. For example, 2 and 2 are initial numbers, and 14 is the calculated number in the first row. So, the correct answer here is choice D, 20. Hopefully you've nailed this question and now know how to answer similar problems on the test. Thanks for watching. I really appreciate you for helping us to become one of the largest YouTube channels to help people become smarter, increase your IQ, and to pass any test. If the content of this video was helpful, please make sure to click the like button to help YouTube algorithm promote this video and help other people to find it faster. Giving us a like is also a way for you to tell us that you need more content like this, and when you tell us, we will deliver it for you in the future. For links to free and premium resources, please check the description and comments of this video. You can also go directly to our website, howtoanalyzedata.net, to download the materials related to this topic. I really appreciate your endorsement, support, and patronage of this channel. And thank you for considering to become a member and considering to subscribe. Please leave feedback, suggestions, or corrections in comments. And all the best on your journey. I'll see you in my next video.